This guide shows you how to update Microsoft Edge to the new version of Microsoft Edge based on the Chromium browser. This was released on the 15th of January 2020. So, first of all, what we need to do is we need to open up a browser on our system. Now I'm going to open up the old Edge, so let's just double click on the Edge icon there. Okay. And in the bar at the very top of the screen here, delete out whatever's in it by pressing the delete key or the backspace key and type in there microsoft.com forward slash edge. That's microsoft.com forward slash edge. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. OK, so you'll now see this screen introducing the new Microsoft Edge and you should have there download for Windows 10. If you've got something different, then move your mouse over the downward arrow just there and left click and select the system that you want. Incidentally, Microsoft Edge is also available for Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Mac OS, iOS and Android. So you can download them on those devices too. What we're going to do is we're going to click on download for Windows 10. That's a left click. And it gives us here a, a licensing agreement, which we must accept. So we move our mouse over accept and download and left click on that. It says, thank you, your download will begin shortly. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, it says, what do you want to do with Microsoft Edge setup? OK, so move your mouse over the word save and left click once. It will now download and uh, it will say running security scan. So eventually you'll see Microsoft Edge setup.exe finish downloading. When you see that, move your mouse over the word run and left click the word run once. OK, so you might see this um, shield, this multicolored shield just here flashing at the bottom of the screen. If you do, move your mouse over it and left click once. OK. The screen will now darken and it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Microsoft Edge Update just here and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then move your mouse over yes and left click once. If it doesn't say that, then move your mouse over no to abort the installation. So mine's OK, so I left click yes once. It's now downloading the new Microsoft Edge. This part may take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection. Please be patient and wait for it to download. As you can see, mine's now downloading and it gives us an estimated time remaining of about 19 seconds on mine. OK, so it now says download done. It says close Microsoft Edge to install the new version. Make sure you finish up your work in any open tabs. So move your mouse over close and continue. Now, if you've downloaded the new Edge in a different browser other than Microsoft, the old Microsoft Edge, then you probably won't see this screen. So, but if you do see it, left click, close and continue. The old Microsoft Edge will now close down and it's now installing the new Microsoft Edge. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, this might take a little bit of time. Please be patient with it and just let it install. And there we go, it's now installed. And as you can see, it's removed the old Microsoft Edge icon from the screen and installed a new one. It's still installing at the moment. We'll just uh, wait for a little while. Please be patient at this little bit and wait for it to load. So here we go, it's now loading. And there we go, it says, welcome to Microsoft Edge, now even better than ever. Move your mouse over, get started and left click once. If you have a Microsoft account, then you can move your mouse over sign in to sync data and left click once on that if you want to. Or you can move your mouse over done and left click done. And also, if you don't have a Microsoft account, then you can just skip the sign in to sync data and just click done. Or if you wanted to set up a Microsoft account, I think you can do that by clicking sign in to sync data. But just for now, I'm just going to click done. And here we go. So it now says, welcome to the new Microsoft Edge. So there you go. That showed you how to upgrade your old Microsoft Edge to the new Microsoft Edge in Windows 10. Hope this guide helped. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.